Welcome back, thieves. Thank you for tuning in to the Band of Bros channel, where we're always taking a look at the newest tips and tricks in the Call of Duty universe. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to make your Warzone look a lot better on console. And obviously, see this also for PC, but we won't really be going into all the things that PC have. This is more for the console gamers that don't have that many settings at hand, because we won't only be talking about settings inside the game, but also be talking about things outside of the game that you can do that will make your experience a lot better when you're viewing warzone and again if you do enjoy this kind of content please remember to like and subscribe and turn that notification bell on it tp helps me out a lot and as well special thanks to all my youtube members who give me a little bit extra to support my youtube channel if you guys want to become one link in the description with that being said let's jump right into this video so let's jump into the things that you can change inside your game here and then we'll talk about the other ones all right obviously number one is going to be brightness but don't actually i'm not going to tell you you know check your brightness everybody knows that don't look at this squares things that is something that you should look at the way to test your brightness is you should go in a game and you should look go inside of a building and look outside into the sun this is where you can really tell the brightness because i don't know if you guys have seen but call of duty has this aspect about brightness that if you're inside a building and you aim outside like the brightness is crazy but then when you go outside it's normal so the way you check your brightness is go inside a house or get inside a building and look outside and then do the same thing but the other way around so go outside of a building and try to look inside and then play around with the brightness but test it like that again i can't really show you like this because it's not going to make sense because your screen that you're looking at in your phone and my tv they're all different so it won't make sense for me to show you but that is how you test your brightness because that is where the brightness really plays whether you're inside a building Building looking outwards or whether you're outside a building looking inwards so that is how you play with it and also film grain is something that i guess some people call it nice when you turn it on and and people say it looks better but honestly turn this all the way down it, it makes your game a lot more clear i don't really know why but I, th this option is here and, and i don't know why but another thing subtitles now a lot of people like to have subtitles on because they can say they can you know if they hear an enemy they know the skins of their teammates and 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 if they see one that is not theirs and they know there's an enemy but honestly i have them off it's just a distraction the less shit you can have on your screen the better it is in my opinion again these are all just personal opinions now this is where things start getting a little bit interesting i did a video on the colorblind type where i compared all of them if you want to check it out i'll put it into the screen right now uh but this is something that you should check i mean at the end of the day this is something that obviously the color blindness and the way you look at colors depends again on the screen you're looking at and on your colors and, and on your what your eyes see but for me i like this one the deltera no or however you pronounce it and i feel this one packs a punch more colors right it, it, it makes like a more contrasty so the reds look a little bit redder they look a little bit more brighter compared to, look this one's disabled and this one's with this color and as you guys can see the color does change quite a bit all right so i like this one but again go ahead and play with them right go ahead and play with them and here they, they, they did it actually tells you what they do right so if you click r3 into info it tells you you know this one appears it improves it for people that can't see the red color the one is for green color right and, and, and it switches but yeah go ahead and switch them off and something you need to do is go to cl colorblind target you, you do need to switch it usually it is for world and then you got interface but go ahead and switch it to both that means that whether you're in the settings or in the custom loadout and in the game it will affect all aspects of the game now something else that you want to disable is the world motion blur and weapon motion blur off uh, this is just something more realistic you know that if you're moving your gun you won't be looking at everything completely visual but uh yeah go ahead and turn that one off you don't really need it and then obviously we got this one which is the mini map shape again that's something that you see but go ahead and select the square you get a little bit more of your map on this one now also on this one the cardinal direction text uh go ahead and select letters not sure why somebody would have it in numbers but having it in letters allows you to see either west northwest uh, east and all that kind of stuff so always have the letters on don't have the other one and then also if you want your game to look a little bit nicer so we'll go ahead and enable disemberment and gore effects this is just like the blood the uh maybe if you shoot dead bodies like more things come out all those sort of things that will be in in this situation so if you like that stuff go ahead and turn it on or the other way if you don't like that stuff then go ahead and hit disabled on this one now that's all that we can do for the console 
settings in the in, in the uh, Call of Duty world. But if you have a PlayStation 5 or um, let's go ahead and jump here. This is just for console in general. This obviously I have a PlayStation 5, but uh, if you have whatever setting, go ahead and go into accessibility. I I'm pretty sure Xbox has this too. And then go into display. Accessibility allows you to, it's the way you look at things and the way you interact with your thing. So there is some things called like color correction and you can go into here and you can like enable the color filter and you can, you know, switch it up maybe again. So you can add another layer of color blindness that will again, probably increase a little bit more. I like the colors already in the PlayStation so I don't move anything here, um, but play around with the accessibility settings in your Xbox because again, people may think, oh, that's only for people that have color blindness or that can't see correctly, but no, go in there, check it out, switch the things again. I'm not really going into depth because my PlayStation 5 is gonna be different from your, uh, from your other one, but for example, like here, it says high contrast, right? So adjust the colors of text and backgrounds to improve clarity. This only works with some features. Now I turn this on and again, sometimes you can really tell the difference, sometimes you can't. But yeah, go ahead and jump into the accessibility settings of your console and play with them. Even if you don't think that's gonna work, play with them, switch them on and off. Now this is more if you're on um, PlayStation 5 again, because I do have one. So we're gonna go here into save data and game app settings and go into game presets. And now here we got the performance motor resolution mode now per, I, I choose performance mode because i want my i want my game to run a little bit more buttery smooth right i want no input lag now if you don't want any input lag or anything like that you're going to choose performance mode because it's going to tone down the graphic quality just a little bit but to get yourself some better gameplay but now if you if you're just wanting you want to look at the spectacular view and everything like that go ahead and switch to resolution mode now, let's talk about things that you can do outside of your console, outside of Call of Duty. This is when things are getting a little bit interesting. Now, let's talk about whether you have a TV or a monitor. There are certain things that you can do here. Let's go with the TV first. So if you have a TV, um, you can, I, I'm not sure, but you guys have seen that you can switch like between different different presets in the TV. And there's this one in almost every single TV called game mode or whatever it's called, but something game, right, a gaming. And now what this does, um, let me just tell you how this works. A TV isn't meant for gaming, right? It's just meant for viewing things and, and getting really good image quality, right? You're, it's meant to be for watching movies and you perceiving all those details. So what gaming, what game mode does is that it reduces the image quality to improve performance because since the TV isn't worried about input lag, right? It doesn't care if in your TV controller, you click the button, you know, to volume up and it instantly goes up. It doesn't care about that. It cares more about the, the viewing. So if you're playing on a console, the input lag again I, i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know that but the input lag is how long does it take for me when i press my trigger shoot how long does it take for the for me to see that happening in my tv and there's a lot of things that have to go on but obviously if you don't have game mode on in your tv that is going to affect it so if you're playing warzone and you don't care about input lag like you don't care you've got a little delay when you move your controller then take off game mode and it's going to look a lot better but again when you have game mode it it, it significantly turns down image quality but it, it faces so that you have a little bit less input lag all right now let's jump into the monitor section when you have a monitor and a gaming monitor this doesn't really matter right the one ms and uh you know the input lag doesn't really matter because the the gaming monitor is meant for that right with a monitor you're gonna have less input lag but what you can do with the monitor is a lot of people seem to kind of forget about this they put their settings on their monitor a long time ago you know i'm not sure when you bought your monitor but i'm pretty sure it's been a while and and, and you play with your settings at the beginning and then you've been playing with all these different games, new consoles and all that, and your settings are the same. So go ahead and jump into a Warzone match and change the settings in your monitor. Like play around with, obviously I'm not gonna show you mine because again, my monitor has probably got different settings than yours, but every single monitor has got different presets, like whether you're playing FPS games, racing games, uh, uh, TV, whatever you got, they got different presets. Play around with those presets and monitors also have something a little bit more, like a little bit more customization. So usually with the monitors, you'll be able to change the saturation, the contrast, the brightness, change all those things as well. Remember, play around them and play around them in the same way I was telling you, like jump into a Warzone match. Don't just like turn on your PlayStation and in the main screen, you know, like play around with it at the beginning and be like, okay, you know, that's got, uh, no. So a lot of people seem to forget about these settings. So jump into a game and play with these settings and mix them up a little bit. Even if you don't think that's gonna help, move the bar up and down you know move the slider up and down and check what it actually changes in your game now for the final tip that i've got for you guys this is something out of the 
world again i want to bring you things that usually people don't talk about and they are gaming glasses now i've got my pair of gaming glasses here obviously you guys saw when i streamed if you guys see me stream which by the way i stream every single day at 9 40 p.m eastern standard time here on youtube when i streamed i used to wear a mask i just did my face reveal so i didn't wear the gaming glasses because if i have a mask on um they they, they kind of fog them off right but again that's besides the point i've used gaming glasses and i have a pair right here there are the gunner gaming glasses and i do feel they work they don't only work for you know you don't your eyes don't feel as tired but some gaming glasses like for example mine it feels like it has a little bit more contrast because i have like the orange tinted and it's not like you see your screen orange right that's not how it works or when you put them on it's like if i don't know it gives you more contrast and, and the game looks different the the colors look different the, the everything looks a little bit different and again yes it's less strain on your eyes because it you're you're squinting less you you know sometimes after a lot a lot a lot of hours a lot of after gaming hours your you know your eyes hurt a little bit over there watery so try gaming glasses and believe me they will change and now so at the end of this video everything seems minimal right change this change this and everything is minimal but if you change everything that i just told you from the call of duty settings to the settings in your console to the colorblind settings and then add a little bit more contrast here and there to your tv or your monitor and then you get yourself a pair of gaming glasses believe me your experience will change when you put the game. That is when you put all these settings together into one and change it, you will notice a difference. Uh, but yeah, that was everything right now. If you guys have any other tips that I forgot to mention, maybe something that you do that helps enhance your experience while playing Warzone, put it down below in the comment section so others can find that out. Thank you for tuning in. Let me know down below in the comments again, everything, anything that you guys want to say about the video. If you did enjoy, remember to like it. Peace out, everybody. And I'll see you all in the next one. Well, hello there. I see you're still here. And because of that, you're going to get a VIP tour of my brand spanking new website. Here you can check out if I'm streaming or maybe donate some Benjamins if you want to support me a bit more. Most importantly, you can get your own anti gulag merch right here. A hundred percent guaranteed that you will not go into the gulag if you wear one of these. And finally, you can check out some of my COD videos and the top point makers on my stream. And now with all that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.